this is the first opening little area you get. You have to kill a Minotaur, they drop this pool right here. And getting in that gives you the Arctrician buff. Once you have that buff, it'll give you the ability to shoot and activate these nodes connected to wires. And you have to find the start, which is marked by those arrows. And then follow the circuit all the way to the end. One thing I've noticed while doing this dungeon is that yellow wires are circuits that you have to follow. If you see red wires, they are part of a group that you have to activate as quickly as possible. One of the start nodes is almost underground, it seems like. It's under the floor in this building. Another one is over here on the outside of this building. It's another start point. It's another start point at the end of this tunnel. And the fourth one is in this room that I started out in. All of the circuits in this area end at this one. So you can if you have one that's not activated, you can always start from this end and trace it to the beginning. Or rather, the witness. The Ishtar Collective in a Seraph complex. Peculiar. They were right. They were looking for something more than to imprison rest. Once you get to this area, it's going to be the second hole that's lit up red. Come through here and make a right. to this end of the room and then you're going to jump up I'm not 100% sure what the actual correct path for this jumping puzzle area here is so uh, if you have one, I recommend bringing an eager edge sword just for getting through this part. I just didn't go through the correct platform last time. Oh, I think Demon just showed me the correct way to do it. I'm still going to show you my way though. At least for my warlock, that's how I do it. The first secret chest is actually all the way in this corner over here. On the back side of this jumping puzzle. This is where the first secret chest is located. If you haven't completed any encounters that award loot in the dungeon, I recommend waiting until a repeat run to grab that chest because I don't believe it'll award anything if you haven't actually gotten something from the first encounter yet. At least that's how it's worked in previous dungeons. So once you get up here, you're gonna make your way around. And at this point, you can just drop down and around. Here's the Rasputin's mixtape, as I've heard it called by some people. <laughs> uh, you're getting pretty close. Go up the elevator. The information stored here, but could it be linked to my visions? Why else would the witness be interested in these files? Thank you. 
I guess it's a good thing I don't really need my linear fusion Guardian for this down. one. <laughs> nice. <coughs> this encounter is pretty easy. The first Minotaur always spawns on this side. Where you can pick up the buff. Looks like my teammate wants to go for the left one, so I'm going to take the right circuit. And just like before, you're going to follow the wire around. Activating all the nodes along the way. You have to activate them in order, otherwise they won't complete the circuit. But once you activate a node, it won't deactivate again. One under the stairs here. One here. I can jump around and help my teammate. This one. For this section, it's just three levels going up the tower on the outside, activating the circuits along the way. For this one, the end point is actually to this side. That's the first encounter in this dungeon that actually awards the loot. A vex mine remains in this terminal like an open door. And once you get it's done with that one, you'll have to come up to this area and climb up into the rafters. Across. And you'll actually have to interact with the switch to open the window. To imprison the submines. Breaking their connection could end this threat. Guardian down. And yeah, the jump can be kind of tricky. Not the side we want to come up on. Rally banners on this side. As long as you don't step in that area, it won't start. For this one, there's four bridges, or whatever you want to call these. They have reactors at the end, or, react or fuel rods. I've been calling them reactors, so forgive me if I continue to do that. Um, there's four fuel rods, at one at each end, and once you activate all four, that's what starts the damage phase for this harpy boss. Um, Whatever fuel rod you activate last is the one that the boss will come to for damage. So.
Hmm. So that's what a damage phase looks like. Um, mine was probably not ideal, but whatever. I'm goofing around with a new build. As you can see, if you don't uh, stay far enough back, or if your health is low whenever he lets that blast off, it can kill you or at least knock you off. Defeating that boss using whatever method you deem necessary. Make your way through here. That's not what I wanted. It's okay though. In this section, once you get here and you see the groups of red wires, these are the ones that you are just trying to activate all of them as fast as possible. You have to kill a couple waves of Vex before the Minotaur will spawn though. final room of this section anyways. After this is the final boss. to make my teammate go all the way back like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, just let me out. Thank you. All right, after you complete this room, the corners open up. And then you just drop down here to get to the final boss. The universal agreement, yes, everyone's ready, starting loading, jumping around, bouncing around. 
Since I'm div, I don't mind using my linear fusion to take these hydras out, but you do have to take them out first in order for the minotaurs to spawn. And as you can see that he's doing, activating all five of these nodes that are visible on the screen now. Is what opens the big main door in the middle. Opening the big main door in the middle opens up the yellow circuit. This time around, it looks like they're both on this side. Mine is done. Please don't complete yours until the boss is in here. And perfect. Always remember to close the door after activating the reactor or whatever that is in there. Could have done better on my job as Div, but it'll be all right. I'll get it better on the second run. Oh yeah. More armor. Incision by the witness.